Hi there, welcome to Annex D, calculation of voltage drop. For single phase we use 230 volts and in three phase we use 400 volts. Now once again, 5% uh, a maximum allowable voltage drop of 230 volts is 11.5 and it would be 20 volts for 400 volts. For 380 it would be 19 volts and to 20 volts it would be 11 volts. The next question Question 8. Study addendum A attached and answer the following. Here's your drawing. Uh, we've got a drawing here. Beta kiosk, DB 400 volts, 80 amp, 3 pole MCB. We've got three loads. Single phase load, three phase load, um, and a three phase unbalanced load. There is no distance here. Determine the correct cable size suitable for circuit A and sub substantiate your answer. It also says Determine the correct cable size suitable for circuit B and substantiate your answer. Um, it also says what must the maximum distance between uh, MB and DBB. And also uh, 8,4 says what can the maximum current or load be in circuit C for the red phase. So uh, for one mark it's going to be a simple formula or simple um, derivative. We're going to have just assume here or make up a formula which is a, a standard thing let's see where this calculation takes us determine the correct cable size for, for uh, suitable for circuit a and substantiate the answer for circuit a we use the given uh, information to um, surmise which cable to choose and we choose a 1.5 millimeter squared cable because a 15 m load is active i understand that the minimum or the maximum circuit breaker for 15 millimeter squared cable is 15 amps so here they give us a 15 amp pump we say that circuit's going to operate on max we say we use 1.5 millimeter squared we then say we go to that table and we find that value for mv am and that would be 29 for 1.5 millimeter squared or check in your in on your tables uh, times a distance of uh, sorry this is amps and a distance of 20 meters okay i swap those two and then divide that by a thousand i get 8.7 volts therefore 1.5 millimeter squared cable is suitable because the voltage drop is less than Five percent. Number two, for circuit B, we use the given information to surmise which cable to choose. First, calculate the correct amps by using P equals V I square root three. Note that the load is in three phase, and therefore we add square root three equals one comma seven three two to the power formula. All right. So P equals V times I times square root 3 or P or it can also equal to V times I times 1,732. Therefore we manipulate the formula we say I equals P divided by V times square root 3. We find the, the values 10,000 divided by 692,8 and we find 14,43 uh, amps. We then use table 64A to find the cable size by using the calculated amps. Again, we've done this before. Um, we choose the, a 1.5 millimeter squared cable according to the table 64A. We use 1.5 millimeter squared cable and we say uh, if we use that, we then go to the table, find the 25 value according to this and the table and its column and we times that by the amps and the distance and we divide it all by 1000 to convert that answer there to volts 3,6 volts is the answer therefore 1.5 millimeter squared cable is suitable because the voltage drop is less than 5% question 3 or part 3 of this question what must the maximum distance between MB and DBB. So, 
in order to find the distance L in meter, we must choose the applicable formula. So, I mean, what, what formula gives L? So, that's obvious. We use a formula with L in it. If we study the given formula, VD is not given. Wow. In any situation, if another value is missing but is needed to do the calculation, then somehow we must find a way to locate or calculate this value. Amazing. It sounds so familiar. We've done this before. Only that we've done it for single phase and not for three phase yet. Note, if VD is not given, then we always consider the maximum allowable voltage drop. And in this case, we are dealing with a three phase supply system. Therefore, 5% of 400 volts equals 20 volts. Now, what are we going to do? We need to manipulate this formula to make L the subject. So firstly, we use a formula called VD equals MVAM times L times A divided by 1000. We manipulate the formula and VD then divides by MVAM divided by 1000, all of that times I. So your formula would be 20, we inject the values over 2,5 divided by 1000 and that uh, answer there divide, uh, times by 80, we uh, divide that into 20 and we get a distance of 104,17 meters. So we've got the meters there and that was the distance then between the dB and the meter board. That would be that distance over there. So, part four of this question, what can the maximum current load be in circuit C for that late phase? So, we can simply just say I circuit C equals I dB. So, the dB, the current at the dB, 80 amps, minus the current in circuit A, minus the current in circuit B and we found that in circuit A the current was 15 amps we found D and the current in uh, circuit B was that power there divided by 230 or oh, sorry 400 um, square root 3 and we got an answer of 14,43 amps if we do this calculation we get an answer of 50,57 amps so the current there in the three phase unbalanced load is equal to 50,57 amps. Simply uh, put that I total or I dB would be equal to the sum of I A, I B and I C. Right? This concludes voltage drop. I hope it was enough information uh, and I hope that it would help you in your in your exams, in your studies, and uh, best of luck and good luck with the voltage drop calculation.